Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Ryan118 here, and today is the day of days. We're starting our new club career mode on the channel. Now, the vote that I put on the channel a couple of nights ago uh, is finished and decided by you by a landslide. Liverpool is the team we're going to be doing the, the career with. Uh, see, to be honest, I didn't want Liverpool, but, I mean, it's not close enough to say, fuck you, so I'm going to go Bournemouth. If it was, I would have, but Liverpool won by a landslide. I'm a, I'm a Man United fan as well, so this is going to be this is going to be difficult. This is going to be weird. That this is a Liverpool career mode from the perspective of a Celtic Man United fan. I'm not the biggest fan of Liverpool, not going to lie, but that's what you've picked, so I'm going to listen to the people, I'm going to listen to you, and we're going to do a Liverpool career now. This career could be... Could be interesting. Once again, though, I believe this might be a bit short term because really, what is it to do with Liverpool? In the first season, you know, obviously, we're going to go out and try and win the league. And in the second season, we're probably going to go and try and win the Champions League. So, what do you do after that? What do you do after that? So, we'll see when it comes to that time. But we probably won't end this until we have won the Champions League. So, if we don't win the Champions League in the second season, then it'll keep going probably. But I have an idea anyway, guys, now, um, and that is, I know what the third career mode is going to be on the channel, that one there's not going to be a vote, I know what it's going to be, um, if we ever get to that point, if I keep going the way I'm going with the, the good up one. So, anyway, back into this, as you'll notice, webcam, webcam is now in the career mode, I'm trying to upgrade the quality of these career mode videos, and the first step of doing so is by adding a webcam, so that's why I'm currently talking to you, uh, on the bottom corner of the screen, so I hope you guys enjoy that addition, but... First things first, setting up the career. We're not in European football, obviously Liverpool did not make it into European football last year. <laughs> um, but uh, we're not in Europe League, not in the Champions League, obviously. They lost in the Europa League final, they would have gone into European football if not for that. Um, but they did lose. Uh, I don't know if I'm quite sad or quite happy about that, to be honest. Uh, but they, they, they knocked out a team who I like, Dortmund. But now it's just setting this up, so we're going to skip to the next point, guys. I'm going to talk through what's going to happen in the first episode of this career mode. Right, the career mode's finally set up after an age. So there we go, right. The pre-season tournament, I don't really care much about, but we're going to head over to America because I think they had the most money there, so we may as well go over there. But we're going to look at the team in this episode. It'll be very unlikely we get a game done unless we get to the final of that tournament, then I might play that. But here we go. Here's the team that has given me to start off at first. Now, this is the formation I was planning on playing. In fact, I was actually going to make a, a bit of a, a change. I was going to play the 4 3 3, but I'm going to use the cam one. Uh, so we're going to have someone playing the central attackment position. So this is a team we've got. Not bad at all. The starting lineup it's gave us is actually quite good. I like Liverpool's starting lineup. Not going to lie. There's some players who I don't like, some players that I do like, and some players I think we need to improve on. So um, we're going to make a couple of changes first of all because I think Loris Carius, not in real life, you know, in real life he's kind of struggling with other people at the moment. But in this game, Loris Carius is <laughs> very, very good. Uh, I think also we need to get Emery Chan involved because Emery Chan, uh, like Loris Carries in this game is very good and even in real life I think Emery Chan is quite a good player uh, we've got to keep Henderson in there and give him the armbands back, uh, armband back for now I'm thinking about replacing Henderson and if you're a Liverpool fan and I know some Liverpool fans might click on this video I'm very sorry because I know a lot of you actually like Jordan Henderson but I myself personally do not like Jordan Henderson so I doubt he's going to get into my team right so this is the team that we've got for the the season as we currently stand, we're going to take a look at our transfer budget, our objectives and everything else in a minute and what I think we have to improve. But right now, starting from the back, in goals, we have Loris Carries, a back four of Nathaniel Klein, Joe Matip, Dejan Lovren and James Milner. We've got Henderson and Chan in the holding centre positions. And then we've got Lallana at Cam, Firmino up front and on the right wing, Manny and left wing, Coutinho. Now let's get out right now what players we're definitely not going to replace. Now we're not going to replace Lallana because... I I'd really like Adam Lallana, I'm a big fan of Adam Lallana. Now it says here that he can play central attack mid, which is quite worrying. Uh, he can play central mid, he can play centre centre forward. But he can play cam, but that doesn't matter because he's basically going to be playing centre forward the way I'm going to use him anyway. Uh, we're not going to replace Manny and Coutinho. I'm not a big fan of Coutinho, but he's a great player. I'm not going to deny that. I'm just not a big fan of him, probably because he's a Liverpool player. <laughs> um... But he is really, really good, so I'm not going to place him for me. No, I'm still on two minds about, we'll see. I'm not going to place Chan because of the potential he's got in this game. Henderson, as I said, we might, we might not see what the money's like. Left back, James Milner, just because of his age and that he's not the greatest in FIFA, I think we're going to replace James Milner. In real life, I wouldn't, I think James Milner is fantastic, he's outstanding. And I wouldn't replace him in real life, but in this game, I think we might need to. And we're going to replace Dejan Lovren. And that's the that's only the only players we're going to replace him. Keep my team, keep Klein in there, and we'll keep Carries and goals. A young German goalkeeper, you can't go wrong with that. Now, 
for players we're going to be off-roading. Uh, we're going to be getting rid of Sturridge, first things first. I do not want him to be anything to do with this team. Uh, so we're going to be getting rid of him. Uh, and then probably some of these shitty players on the, the reserves will be getting rid of. But we'll see what happens. So we've got a couple of things as well to check. And that is our finances and our objectives for the season. So we're going to go over and check our objectives first to see what they want us to do. Do they want us to win the league? That is the question. So here we go. Um... First things first, youth development, and it's quite low at this club, which is good, but it was also low at Celtic, and I kept getting emails through saying, we're not on track, you're not doing well, just because I wasn't following uh, the youth development, which was a low priority, I still kept my job, but I mean, it was quite annoying, uh, but they want us to sign at least two players younger than 20 years old with potential greater than the average overall rating of players currently in the same position. Okay, uh, sign one youth player to the senior team in the same season they were scouted to play them in five matches either as part of the starting 11 or coming on as a sub, right? So that's similar to Celtic at one, they just want us to sign a player and play them five times. Brand exposure, critical, obviously Liverpool, one of the, the biggest teams in the world, one of the most supported teams in the world, one of the most known teams in the world. So the, the, the brand exposure is going to be big. So they want us to gain 102 million quid earnings from t-shirt sales within a season now if we get the right signings and we make good signings we will do that no bother and then earn 323 pound, million pounds sorry through media earnings competition prize money within three seasons we'll see how that goes uh, financial is low which is good but within three seasons increase the club worth by 10 percent that should be easily done, especially if we get success in, if we win a Champions League, we win a league title. Can we win a league title for the first time since 1990? That's the question. Okay, domestic success. This is the big one. This is critical. And they want me to do quite well this season, not going to lie. They want me to finish in the top four this season, and then within two seasons win the Premier League. So they don't want me to win the Premier League this season. They just want me to finish the top four, which is good to see because obviously it's going to be it's going to be difficult to win the league. Um, I play in world class, of course, which you know world class. I don't want to say it's easy because sometimes I play like absolute shite. But compared to legendary, it's easy. I can't play in legendary. I just I just can't. If I played legendary, I'd be losing every game. It'd be the worst career mode you'd ever watch. I might try it someday. We'll see how it goes. But for now, we're staying in world class. Uh, and Emirates FA Cup win the FA Cup. Can we do that? Can we get a good cup run? I don't know. I I don't feel like we will. When it comes to cups, I'm not not the greatest in any kind of mode, so I'm not going to guarantee anything about that. Continental success, uh, although there's nothing we could do this season, but look at that. Within two seasons, reach the semi-final of the Champions League. I'd like to win the Champions League within three seasons, so that would be a good aim as well. Qualify for the Champions League, of course, is the other big thing there. And finally, to wrap up this first little part of the episode, we're going to go and check our finances. Oh my god, did I read that right? Right, hold on, right, hold on. We have 97 million quid. Should we go all out and buy something like Griezmann? That's the question. I think we should. So I told you a moment ago what positions I want to improve on, what positions are going to stay the same. So quickly, I'm going to go and make a short list of potential players we could sign. Now, the positions that I said, uh, we're going to look for a centre-back, a left-back, Maybe a centre mid and possibly a striker. I'm still in two minds about that. But we've got fucking 97 million quid. So, I mean, why not go in for Antoine Griezmann, for example? Why not just go all out? This career mode's more about having a wee bit of fun. Having a top four save. I mean, with Celtic, it was about, you know, having to make smart signings for our league and being under a kind of a kind of financial restraint. But now we're all out. We can do anything. Let's have some fun. Let's fucking do it. We've made a short list. Um, now, there's no centre, well, there's one centre mid here, actually, because he's a legend on this channel now. After one career mode, he's a, he's a legend, so we might sign him. But there's only centre-backs, left-backs, and strikers here. The strikers are slightly unrealistic. There's only a couple who I think are actually better than Firmino, and if I can't afford them, we'll keep Firmino up front this season. So centre mid is the least priority uh, the now, so... Step by step, I've inquired about the most. We'll find out in a minute how much they actually want for them. So, with centre backs, I've scouted and I've added to the short list. We've got Laporte in there. We've got Costas, Manolas, and uh, Jose Jimenez, uh, if that's how you say his name. We've got those three in there as centre backs that we could potentially sign. All three of them I'm a fan of. I would like to bring in all three of them if I could. <laughs> Obviously, that's impossible. Probably the priority would be Laporte and then Jimenez and then Manolas would be last. Sorry, sorry, Costas. Um, oh, also, my top rack, I forgot to put him in there. He's probably just there because he might be the cheapest option and if it comes to worst, then we'll go for him. Not worst, he's still a good centre back, but I mean, uh, out of the four of them, I mean, I think I'd rather have these three. Uh, left backs, I've got three here. One that I really like, Jonas Hector, in my opinion, one of the best left backs in the world. I really like him. Uh, I think he's a top priority for me. Uh, we've also put in Alexandro of Juventus who could be potentially very good. 
but very expensive at the same time. And then we've got La- 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 Levin. I don't know how you say his first name. I think it might be Levin. Levin Kazawa from PSG, who would also be very good as well. Uh, probably H- Hector's my priority, and then probably Kazawa and then Sandro. Now, the legend I was talking about, Leon Goretzka. Should we bring him to Liverpool that we had him at Celtic? We saw how good he was at Celtic. Well, if you watched the Celtic career mode. If you didn't watch the Celtic career mode, if you're here just joining me for the Liverpool career, I recommend you go back and watch the Celtic career mode. It's what built this channel to 2,000 subs now. A very good career mode. I enjoyed it. It will still be continuing on a kind of part-time basis. That's the only segment we've got there. And the three strikers, Griezmann, who will cost a lot of money. A lot of money if we can get him. Griezmann's there, Dybala's there, and Lacazette is there. Uh, all three very good. But, I mean, just the fact, just just the idea of having Griezmann in the team, does that not just tingle your taste buds? Oh, why did I say that? <laughs> does that just not give you good, you know, a, a, a good wee, a good wee thought, a good wee happy thought of having Griezmann in the team. So Griezmann is uh, up there along with Dybala and Lacazette. I've, I've inquired for most of them so far. The only people I've not inquired about is Dybala and Lacazette because it won't let me. So I'm just going to go and shove up. Oh god, he's worth at least 50. We're going to shove 30 million in for him just now. Just, this isn't me actually bidding for them. This is just me finding out how much money they want for uh, for um, Dybala and Lacazette because I would love to have Antoine Griezmann in all honesty. Um, and once again, he's worth about fucking 40 million. Now it's going to be expensive but we have 97 million Plus the money we're probably going to make from selling a couple of players, we should be okay. We're in a good financial state, we're not going to go into fucking debt or anything, so we'll see. But we've got these friendly games coming up, and the first inquiries are coming back, so let's go through these one by one. Top rack, 32 million. Laporte, 49 million. Uh, 32 million for Kazawa. Griezmann, not for sale at any price. I'll make that change. Um, Gretzka, only 28 million. I think we, paid, we actually only paid about, what, 13 million in the Celtic career? So that should be possible. And Hector's only 22 million. So we're going to go and put the first bid in for Jonas Hector. Um, I'm going to go for about 17 million pound. Hopefully they accept that. Most of this episode will just be transfer dealings, getting stuff done. Um, Griezmann now. Now, well, where do we begin with Griezmann? He's summed up between uh, 70 million and 86 million. Right, we're going to offer 60 million. And, and, hold on. Daniel Sturridge. We'll see how that goes. Probably going to get rejected. But it's worth a go, isn't it? Uh, so Griezmann, we've put offer in for him. Because I will keep there in case we don't get um, who we want. Now, they want quite a bit for Laporte. They want £49 million. Now, I think it'd be worth it if we gave them 25 And I was going to say Sacco, but he's 82 fucking rated. I don't know if I want to do that. Um, There's a lot to commit to anyway. Uh, right. Okay. I'll offer 25 million, I'm not going to accept that, but it'll give us a better idea of how much minimum they want. So we'll take that away and keep those three there just now, and then in a moment we should have more inquiries coming back. Okay, they want 67 million for Lacazette. Mm. Um, they think Dybala is worth more than that. Right, okay. We'll offer 40 million then. Uh, we'll offer 40, this is a 30, I'm still not going to get accepted, but... Uh, it's what, I just want to see how much they want. Right, I'm not paying 67 million quid for Alexander Lacazette. I have say his name. Uh, Sandro, 48.5 million pounds. That's a lot of money for a left back. 49 for Manolas. Jimenez, 36. That's no bad. Put that to 25 as well, like we did with um, Laporte. And we'll see how that goes. I mean, I doubt it'll get accepted, but it's, it's always worth a go. Why not? Uh, the rest of the people, as I said, keep here just now. Goretzka, I'm still really bring to the club. We've got a first game. Uh, we're just going to simulate this in the tournament. If we get to the tournament final, then I might treat you and play that. But we'll see. Uh, we win 3 0. Continue with two. Firmino with the other. Firmino will be hearing these rumours about Griezmann and fighting desperately to keep his place in the team. Uh, we've also got Villarreal to play. Jeez, oh, Villarreal. Liverpool played Villarreal in the, the Europa League, did they not? Uh, I think so. 22 million for Sunderland for Daniel Sturridge. Fucking give me 26 in his all years. Fucking Sunderland bidding 22 million. Jeez, oh, they're trying their best to escape relegation, I presume. Uh, I feel like I'm on fucking Sky Sports Day and transfer deadline, deadline day. Okay, they want minimum 22 million for Hector. I'll offer 19. I do not want to pay a lot for a left back. See, that's the thing. But, I mean, in the nature of being a Premier League team, that's what you do, isn't it? You spend big for anyone nowadays. Uh, Laporte, they want a lot more money. They want 49. We'll offer 35. They're still not going to accept that, but, you know, it's always worth it, you know, because if they do accept it, then you've just saved a shit ton of money. So, it's always worth putting in that wee bid. Uh, Anton Griezmann, we can't go ahead, because we're not interested in the player you've included in the deal, and the cash amount of money is not enough. Right. 
okay, should we just go all out and offer 80 million quid? I've done it without consulting myself. <laughs> I've just went and done it. Um, Griezmann, we could be paying a lot of money. Joe Gomez wants a chance to play in pre-season. Now, you know, in pre-season, I usually would. Uh, I would go around and make a second team, like, you know, how you have the lineup thing. But can't be arsed, so... Sorry. 3-1 uh, to us. Now, I'm feeling confident we'll get to the final of this, but I don't know what other fucking teams are in it, so we might not. Uh, let's go and check uh, our transfer. Danny Ings. I like that. We're not selling them to Everton. No. We're not selling them to Everton. That's going to be a rule. We're not allowed to buy or sell players to Everton or Manchester United. Uh, 36 million for him and his. How much fucking money do teams want in this game? Unbelievable. Uh, 30 million for him and his is all I'm offering. I'm not going to go any higher. I'll say that in the off about 40 in a minute. Um, everybody else just keep there. We'll just try to batter through this tournament um, and get things done. Ben Woodburn, a one-year loan. On you go, son. I don't want to see you around any time soon. 16 years of age. You must be one of the youngest players that you can get in the game. Um, right, Sunderland have matched the 26 million for Sturridge. So Sturridge is off and he's gone to fucking Sunderland. So good on him. Oh, transfer offers accepted. Uh, who's in talks with Arsenal? Hold on. For Laporte. Hmm. Okay. 35 million for Laporte, as I said. I've just saved a shit ton of money. They wanted 50 million. And we've we've saved uh, 15 million there. So, that's good to see. And I, I didn't think it would get accepted. But as I said, it's always worth the go. But, Arsenal bidded for him. I don't see why Arsenal need him. They've got fucking Mustafi. I'll happily take Mustafi off them. I love uh, Mustafi. I really do like him. So, I would happily take him if they don't want him. And it looks so we might be getting Jonas Hector as well, which is good. Although his wages, I didn't think he'd want 45 grand. I thought he'd want to stay around that 30 grand mark. Uh, quite surprised at that. Paolo Dybala, 80 million quid. I'd rather just stay and try and get Griezmann some, somehow. Um, so, we'll see who signs in a moment. We've got one more game in this group stage and it should be the easiest. I got interrupted there, sorry. Um, Philadelphia should be the easiest game. I believe that's what I'm saying. I forgot now. Um, but you never know they could end up beating this, so I'm not going to speak too soon. Uh, transfer offer for Mamadou Sacco, 18.5 million. Give me 22.5 million and you can have him. He's only worth 16.5. I'm chancing my fucking leg here to try and get that much money. Um, oh, God. <laughs> £112 million. Pounds. They've spoken. £112 million. Pounds. We'll, we'll come back to that. <laughs> we'll come back to that. Hopefully it will win. As I said, it should have been the easiest game. We couldn't score a body goal into them. 0-0. No, no. Um, after beating Villarreal 3-1, for example. Fuck knows how that happened. Right, transfer offer for Lucas Live. I've never been a fan of the guy, I'm not going to lie, so I'm going to get rid of him. He's 29 and he's been at Liverpool a long time, so Liverpool fans might be quite unhappy with that. And he is a good player, but I, I just... Just don't want him. Um, right, contract offer accepted. We've made our first sign, and Jonas Hector is here. He is part of the club. That's good to see. We are building a force. That's what I want to do. I want to build a force here at this club. Uh, negotiation. Oh, you dick. He's chose Arsenal. What a bastard. Uh, we're through the final of the cup. I'm not going to play the final. I've decided this is just going to be an episode of transfer dealings. He's not way into it. And in the next episode, we're going to be right into it. And we're going to be playing our league games. It's very realistic now that we can... And Lucas is gone. We do have enough money to get Griezmann. Do we go for it? Do we spend all our money on Griezmann? That's what I want to know. This is how we're going to end off the episode in a minute. I want to know in the comments, your guys' opinion. Should we spend all of our money on Griezmann? Let me know what you think in the comments. Should we do it? They want 112. We can afford that. So... In the comments, guys, should we spend all the money in Griezmann or cheap out, get a different striker like Lacazette or Dybala and then bring in maybe a central mid? What should we do? I want to know. Um, but we're going to simulate the end of this tournament and I want to know what you guys think in the comments of what we should do. We've edited the team around. £112 million at steep. We could break the transfer record with that. Should we though? Should we break the transfer record? Should we... Would Liverpool spend that in real life? I don't think so. I don't think they'd spend 100 million quid on Griezmann, but... Fuck it. <laughs> Why not? So guys, if you've enjoyed this, you know what to do. Like and subscribe. This is a new career mode on the channel, so let me know what you think of it. Uh, I, I, I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode. I know there's been no games, sadly. But, um, you know, that's just the, the way of life. So now we've got the American Challenge Cup. In the next episode, we're going to be right into games, guys. Don't worry. We're going to get right into it. Uh, Juventus Liverpool, here we go. We're going to sit through the simulation for this. 
Uh, Juventus up 1-0. Dybala, who I wanted to take off them, has went and scored. And Klein's got a red card. It's 2-0. That's all for right. So, guys, thank you all for watching this episode. 3-0 defeat. Not good at all. Thank you all for watching this episode, guys. That's been me, Dan Mobile, and I'll see you in the next episode of the Liverpool Career Mode.